यस एक बिग हले सब लोग एक साथ हले वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ हले प्रभु की स्तुति हो हले यावे हले यावे बेसिकली इट इज ए प्रेसिंग ऑफ द रिसेक्शन यू नो इन इन लैटिन राइट दे डोंट से हले लुया ड्यूरिंग द होल लैंड एंड सीजन ड्यूरिंग द होल लैंड एंड सीजन दे डोंट से हले लुया बिकॉज दे आर वेटिंग फॉर द रिसेक्शन and in the resurrection in the night vigil they will sing a big hallelujah that is like this hallelujah <laughs> come on halle I love that. I love that. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. He is truly risen. Hallelujah. Okay. Now before the holy mass before the holy liturgy i would like to speak my experience how i have experienced the holy kurbana holy liturgy and from that time i had a very beautiful life changing experience it so happened it was actually happened in a epiclesis while the priest was praying the epiclesis what is epiclesis the prayer for the coming of the holy spirit of course it was in the latin mass epiclesis but epiclesis is in every mass so I was sitting with my wife in the front row and the priest was praying now one of the epiclesis is like this father you are holy the fountain of all holiness all holiness and life come from you through jesus christ by the working of the holy spirit therefore i therefore no oh, sorry <clears throat> i'll do it again sorry i took it in high pitch father you are holy the fountain of all holiness all holiness and life come from you through jesus christ by the working of the holy spirit therefore send thy spirit upon these gifts and make them holy and transform them to the body and blood of our lord jesus christ this was the epiclesis so what are the elements in this prayer father you are holy the fountain of all holiness all holiness and life come from you through jesus christ by the working of the holy spirit i tell you that was so powerful and first time i understood <laughs> Holy Spirit is a working person working of the Holy Spirit 
a person who is working. Therefore, send thy spirit upon these gifts and transform them into the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And liturgy means, liturgy means each of this prayer when we pray, it happens, it happens. It is manifesting, it makes present, and it is distributed. That is called liturgy. Liturgy is not any prayer written by somebody. It is an official, very, very institutional prayer of the church. It's all written in the Catechism of Catholic Church. I will explain it later. Now I will focus on the Holy Mass. Then later I will explain after the session what is liturgy and how we have to respect and benefit from the liturgy. And practically at that time when the priest was praying this, I was sitting with my wife and children on the front row. Suddenly, I was filled with the Holy Spirit and I began to cry loudly. And my wife said, what are you doing? The people are, people are disturbed. You don't cry, don't cry. I don't know. <laughs> this was my situation. And my children looked at me with uh, amazement. Why Papa is crying? But then my wife pressed on my shoulders. Be quiet, be quiet. People are disturbing. So quiet. <laughs> so then I realized, oh my goodness, oh, okay, okay. But then I was internally having such an experience of Holiness, Holy Spirit working in me. <laughs> and then I realized a very important fact that when the epiclesis is prayed, it is not only upon the altar, upon the gifts on the altar. Epiclesis, when we pray, it is actually Holy Spirit come upon the whole world, whole creation, particularly the souls, all those who are participating in the Holy Mass. Not only, of course, on the gifts, and that gifts the bread and wine, wine and water mixture is transformed to the body and blood of Christ. Yesterday, I, I, I said from the teaching of Pope John Paul II that these gifts become theophorical. What is that word I said? Theophorical. Carrying God. Theophorical. So imagine if this bread and wine transformed, transubstantiated, and become the body of Christ. Now, I tell you, that day, after the Holy Eucharistic celebration, I could not get up from that seat. I was almost stamped, stamped there. <laughs> I am not able to get up. My wife and children say, Papa, let us go. He said, no, I am not able to get up. The Holy Spirit put me down there and inside me I felt like a washing machine is working, a washing machine. <laughs> so many unholy things started. I see it is all going away, going away, going away, going away, going away. 
I was living in Bombay. I used to see so many films and so many bad things. All these started going away, going away, going away. And I understood now how the Holy Mass, the Holy Eucharist must be an experience in my life. And from that time, I had such an intoxicating experience. Every Holy Mass became a, a living experience of Father, you are holy, the holiness of the Father. All holiness come from you through Jesus Christ. But by the working of the Holy Spirit. And then I began to learn more about Holy Mass, Holy Eucharist. First of all, since I am a Syro Malabar Christian, I began to learn what is written in the Holy Kurbana booklet. So in Malayalam, it is a big book where all the prayers and footnote and so many things are there. I began to read that. And then I wondered so many deeper understanding about the Holy Mass. So in the beginning itself, and of course, after that, I have learned from our liturgy and learned from many teachings, which I want to summarize now. The Eucharist is the whole life of Christ. So then I began to have such an exposure to various liturgical celebrations. I am Siro Malabar, so Siro Malabar liturgy is very dear to me. But I work among the Latin Christians, so Latin liturgy is also. I began to practice and I stay in in Kerala, just opposite to the pastoral center where the bishop conference office and all three rites mass is celebrated in alternate days. So I got a chance to celebrate the Siro Malangara liturgy, Siro Malangara. So in Kerala, or in India, we have three rites, Latin rite, Siro Malabar rite, and Siro Malagara. And when I went to Europe in Austria, my daughter was studying in a theological institute, which is an international theological institute. There, they have Bicentine liturgy, Bicentine liturgy. Now, just last month, I was there, this is a Byzantine liturgy. And I was so fascinated with the Byzantine liturgy. That is like Siro Malabar and little more than that. There are more, more, almost like Siro Malangara and more than that. So different and so wonderful. One thing I liked very much, <laughs> I think I have already told you, before gospel is read, the priests, with a very big ceremonial way, the gospel is come in a procession and the priest will announce, <clears throat> Sophia Orti, wisdom be attentive. Even this be attentive is a word of God. Is Jesus said in 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 Luke chapter in Luke chapter nine, I think nine forty four. I think Luke chapter nine forty four. Luke chapter nine forty four. Pay attention to what 
I am telling you. Jesus said, Luke chapter 9, 44. Pay attention to what I am telling you. So that is used here as an acclamation. Wisdom, be attentive. In uh, Byzantine liturgy, during this Easter time, they have a very special song. And in that song, the whole congregation will sing with, uh, sing with, Christ is risen from the dead. By death he conquered death. Then they stamp on the earth like, By death he conquered death. Tuck, tuck, tuck. By death he conquered death. So that's very interesting when all the people together, by death he conquered death. Stamping on the death. And to, oh sorry. And to those in the graves he granted life. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he conquered death. And to those in the graves he granted life. Three times they see. Similarly, there is another antiphon. All you have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. All you have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. This is Galatians 3.27. So they sing this during this time. Glory be to the <clears throat> Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and ever forever. Amen. Have put on Christ. Hallelujah. All you have been baptized into Christ. Have put on Christ. Then, during the exaltation of the cross, they sing, We bow to your cross. We bow to your cross, O Lord. <coughs> oh, sorry. We bow to your cross, O Lord. And we praise your holy resurrection. We bow to your cross, O Lord, and we praise your holy resurrection. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. And we praise your holy resurrection. I tell you some examples. When we participate in different liturgy, we are amazed. We are amazed. And you must know this, in the Catholic Church, apart from the Latin Church, like Syro Malabar, there are 23 Eastern churches, 23 Eastern churches. So in the due course, through books or literature and videos, you must try to become familiar with some of the Eastern churches, then you will have such a great understanding how different way Holy Spirit leading the Holy Mother Church. And the teaching of the church. Now I have here a papal teaching of Pope John Paul II called Orientale Lumen. The Orientale Lumen. Light of East. This, this teaching you must read. You must read this teaching. It is for every one of us. 
Oriandale Lumen, you write down. Oriandale Lumen is the apostolic letter by John Paul II, written in 1995. In 1995. Written in 1995. Oriental Lumen. It is written in. Oh, no, no. Okay. Ah, yeah, I think I, I know it. It is, it is written. I'm searching the date. 1995. That was a letter, apostolic letter, to mark the centenary of another letter, another teaching, Oriental, Orientalium dignitas, Orientalium dignitas by Leo XIII written in 1895. And then there is another document of Second Vatican Council, which is called Orientalium Ecclesiarum. Orientalium Ecclesiarum. That is about the importance of the Oriental churches. And we should not change any of the traditional liturgical aspect because it has such a great value. It is very valuable. Okay. Now I come back to an experiencing the liturgy. Whether Latin Mass, Syrian Mass, Syro Malagara, Byzantine, in all the common factories the whole life of Christ is reenacted in the whole liturgy. The whole life of Christ. Now you can write. In the life of Christ, there are seven mysteries. Seven mysteries. Everybody note down the seven mysteries in the life of Christ. They are the incarnation mystery, the mystery of incarnation. Number one, the mystery of incarnation. Number two, the mystery of baptism of Jesus. The mystery of baptism of Jesus. First is mystery of incarnation. Second is mystery of baptism of Jesus. Third, mystery of public proclamation of Jesus. Mystery of public proclamation. Are you not writing down? Mystery of public proclamation. And the fourth is the mystery of passion and death. Fourth is the mystery of passion and death of Jesus. The mystery of passion and death of Jesus. And fifth is the resurrection. Mystery of resurrection. Mystery of resurrection. And Sixth is the mystery of ascension. Mystery of ascension. And seventh is the mystery of count ascension or Pentecost. The mystery of Pentecost. The mystery of Pentecost. So, 
7. Now we can say another mystery that is the eighth mystery of the second coming of Jesus. Second coming of Jesus. So in the holy liturgy, in the divine liturgy, in the holy kurbana, beginning, in the beginning of the holy kurbana, or in the whole kurbana, this these eight mysteries are reenacted. Reenacted. It is not repeated. It happened once, but through the sacrament, through the liturgy. Ah, okay. Now I must read what happens in the liturgy. In Catechism 1076. 1076. What happens in the liturgy? In the liturgy, Christ is manifested, 1076. Paragraph 1076. I read a part of it. Church was made manifest to the world on the day of Pentecost by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The gift of the Spirit ushers in a new era in the dispensation of the mystery. Dispensation of the mystery. Distribution. And so the Lord invented, instituted the sacrifice, sacrament, rather the liturgy. So in the liturgy, in the age of the church, during which Christ manifests, Christ manifests, one point, point number one, liturgy means Christ manifests. Second, makes present, right in bold letter, capital letter, makes present. Christ makes himself present. Please, please don't laugh now. We are talking very important thing and you are taking it so lightly. I am so sorry. This is our problem. This is such a big serious thing I am talking. You are chatting and making fun. Oh, I am sorry. Sorry. Christ manifests Christ makes present. He makes present. And third, communicates. He communicates his work of salvation. He communicates. That is the Holy Communion. Holy Communion is he is distributing. He is dispensing his so what are the three things happening in liturgy Christ manifests makes present and communicates so now imagine these seven mysteries we are going to learn in which part of the holy mass it is manifest. First is the mystery of incarnation. So how the Holy Mass begins? The Holy Mass begins with the mystery of incarnation by when we sing some uh, in our Siro Malabar liturgy we have the song of institution that how this is instituted. But after that, this first mystery, which is also known as Incarnation Hymn, Hymn of Incarnation. That is, Paramatham Mem Isur Ki Mahima 
ഇൻകാർണേഷൻ so the mystery of incarnation now apply the three principle christ manifests christ makes present christ communicates this way we will experience so this during the holy liturgy when we sing gloria the incarnation mystery is reenacted in this sacrament to manifest to make present to communicate so we must know what is incarnation what happens in the incarnation we know that jesus is born in a stable but through the teaching we must know in incarnation word become flesh god become man he took our human nature i tell you a very interesting teaching in 526 in catechism catechism 526 526 you write down the number 526 to become a child in relation to god is the condition for entering the kingdom for this we must humble ourselves and become little even more to become children of god we must be born from above or born from god attention now only when christ is formed in us will be the mystery of christmas be fulfilled christmas what is christmas christmas is the mystery of the marvelous exchange christmas is the mystery of incarnation the church teaching it is a marvelous exchange Oh marvelous exchange man's creator has become man born of the virgin we have been made sharers in the living in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share our humanity so now we have the same prayer in the roti ki vibhajan in the siramal bar liturgy before we pray the institution prayers see teri deepti hai aur tere sat ka pradirup tere barabar होते हुए भी दास का रूप धारण कर उसने अपने को दीनहीन बना लिया वह विवेक बुद्धि और अमरता से संबन्न आत्मा के साथ देखिए सुनिए सब लोग पुकार कर बोलिए नश्वर शरीर को अपना कर पूर्ण मानव बना स्त्री से जन्मा ओके क्या हुआ उन्होंने नश्वर शरीर को अपनाया वो कहां से उसको नश्वर शरीर मिला किसका शरीर है वो किसका है हम सबों का पूरा मनुष्य 
मानव जाति का दैट इज कॉल्ड मार्वलस एक्सचेंज और उसके बाद ये हमारे इस दूसरा प्रार्थना ये है इंस्टीट्यूशन प्रेयर के बाद जो प्रार्थना है उसमें ऐसा है तूने हम पापियों का उद्धार किया या तेरे स्वर्गीय जीवन में बोलिए तेरे स्वर्गीय नो नो सॉरी 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 आई एम मिस्टेक एन फॉर गिव मी तेरे ईश्वरीय जीवन में हमें सहभागी बनाने के लिए तूने हमारा मानव स्वभाव अपनाया क्या तो इधर क्या हुआ दो बात हुआ है तूने हमारा मानव स्वभाव अपनाया और क्या किया उनका ईश्वरीय स्वभाव ईश्वरीय स्वभाव ईश्वरीय जीवन में हमें सहभागी बनाया सो दिस इज कॉल्ड दिस इज कॉल्ड मार्वलस एक्सचेंज 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 मतलब अभी अपना घर में चावल है दूसरा घर में गेहूं है तो हम लोग क्या करता है एक किलो चावल उन लोगों को देता है और उन लोग क्या करता है एक किलो गेहूं हम को देता है तो इसको क्या बोलता है बार्टी सिस्टम और एक्सचेंज प्रभु ने क्या किया उन्होंने ईश्वर था ईश्वर है उनके ईश्वरीय स्वभाव हमको दिया और हमारा क्या स्वभाव था पाप मय मनुष्य हमारे हमारे नश्वर शरीर हमारा नश्वर शरीर ओम हमारे मानव स्वभाव उन्होंने ले लिया दैट इज द मिस्ट्री ऑफ इनकारनेशन ए मार्वलस एक्सचेंज ही गेव हिस डिवाइन नेचर टू अस एंड ही टुक अवर ह्यूमन नेचर सो दैट इज रिटर्न हियर वी हैव बीन मेड शेयर इन द डिविनिटी ऑफ क्राइस्ट हु हम्बल्ड हिमसेल्फ टू शेयर Our humanity. तो ये रहस्य जाना चाहिए हमारा विश्वास में आगे बढ़ने के लिए हमारा फॉर्मेशन फॉर्मेशन वहां पर चालू किया है हमारा फॉर्मेशन कौन चालू किया प्रभु ईसा ने उनका ईश्वरीय स्वभाव हमको देकर हमारा मानव स्वभाव उन्होंने ले लिया हमारा नश्वर शरीर को उन्होंने ले लिया इसलिए वो मानव बना मनुष्य बना प्रभु मनुष्य इसलिए बना हमारा मनुष्य शरीर उन्होंने ले लिया दैट इज कॉल्ड द मिस्ट्री ऑफ इनकारनेशन लेकिन ये ये हम समझना चाहिए एक गीत गाते वक्त हमने समझना चाहिए क्या है गीत एक गीत क्या है परम धाम में ईश्वर की महिमा और और क्या होता है परम धाम में ईश्वर की महिमा और पृथ्वी पर मानवों को शांति शुभ आशा सदा सर्वदा कारण क्या है समस्त मानव को उन्होंने अपने ऊपर ले लिया और उनका महिमामय अवस्था को हमें दे दिया दैट इज कॉल्ड द मिस्ट्री ऑफ इनकारनेशन सो व्हेन दिस इज सेलिब्रेटेड दैट इज व्हाई it is sung three times when it is sung three times we have a time to relate oh lord the angel declared to the shepherd 
लूक चैप्टर टू फोर्टीन लूक चैप्टर टू इलेवन सॉरी लूक चैप्टर टू इलेवन द एंजल सेट टू द शेपर्ड्स टुडे इन द सिटी ऑफ डेविड द सेवियर इज बॉर्न द मेसाया द लॉर्ड चैप्टर टू इलेवन टुडे इन द सिटी ऑफ डेविड ए सेवियर has been born for you who is the messiah the lord three things he is the savior he is the messiah he is the lord so even as we see that little child jesus he is god he is messiah he is lord he is king he is a high priest he is a prophet and when we celebrate this liturgy the incarnation mystery sometimes people think holy communion is the big experience yes but to experience the holy communion first we must experience the incarnation and he was born in a stable so when we believe that he took our human nature the teaching is he took flesh flesh the flesh means not only humanity in the flesh the whole creation is included so jesus in his incarnation he actually took the humanity and all animals and the all creatures and all the visible world because that is what in colossians chapter 1 colossians chapter 1 15 16 17 says he is the image of the invisible god the first born of all creation for in him were created all things in heaven and earth the visible and invisible in him were created all things so but at the moment we consider humanity the whole humanity is in his body come on let us stand up and praise god praise you jesus thank you jesus everybody praise you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah louder please praise you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah 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 please be seated now i will quickly explain the seven points so that when we celebrate the holy mass no 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 continue now so mystery of incarnation when we sing the first incarnation hymn or gloria we must remember this is the time of a reenactment of the mystery of incarnation so what happened in the liturgy christ manifest christ makes present christ is communicated so this and thereafter <clears throat> now imagine a biological growth jesus is born jesus with mother mary began to grow in learning in praying what is that what is the way jesus prayed and jesus prayed with the mother mary our father prayer so we have first our father prayer thereafter the custom of israel was they used to pray psalms many hours the early morning then during uh, during 9 o'clock then lunch before lunch then afternoon then evening then night that is the hourly prayer what was their hourly prayer 
was Sam's, praying Sam's. So that is why we pray, we actually should pray more number of Sam's, but because of the lack of time, we are not doing. So that is the time in the Holy Liturgy, we are reenacting the growth of Jesus. Jesus, the 30 years, he was in complete contemplation, in prayer, praying Psalms with Mother Mary and growing in knowledge of Old Testament, of the books of Moses, then the books of prophets. That is why we have, we begin yeah, in the liturgy of the word. But before that, we have now, when we sing the resurrection hymn, when we sing the resurrection hymn, that is the moment of his baptism, the moment of his baptism. So in, in the moment of his baptism, the heaven opened and the voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son in whom I am pleased. And the Holy Spirit came upon him and he began the ministry of proclamation. So the public proclamation starts. So that is the time the priest is bringing the gospel in public. So this is the table of proclamation of the word of God. This is the altar of breaking the word and that is the altar of breaking the body. The two altars. This is in Galilee, that is in Jerusalem. So the priest, the, the, Jesus came from Jordan, filled with the Holy Spirit, and came to Galilee and began his public life, saying, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to proclaim. So that event is reenacted here by the proclamation of the gospel and the, and the homely. And after that, we are beginning Christ is going to Jerusalem to offer himself as a sacrifice. So the offertory. So in the offering, when we offer, when we offer, we are offering actually the whole humanity. Where is the humanity now? Humanity is actually in the body of Christ because through incarnation, the whole humanity is in the body of Christ. Now he is going to offer, now look at on the cross, he is offering as a priest and as a victim. He offered himself as a victim. So the offering, he is offering the whole humanity in the altar. So now what are the mysteries? The mystery of incarnation, mystery of baptism, mystery of public proclamation. Now comes the mystery of passion and death. So when we are entering to anaphora, before that we proclaim our faith. And then when we enter into anaphora, that is the institution of the sacrament, the mystery of Passion, death, and resurrection take place. So when, when we prepare the offering, sorry, I'm going to use another symbol. When we prepare the offering and cover this, that is the, that is the resurrection. That is, he is in the tomb, he is burial, he is buried. So all these symbols have great meaning. 
and afterwards later on the priest take this and make this like this all this has got great meaning so now in this symbol that the offertory offering is done covered that is jesus's passion death and burial and then he resurrect but during this time in the institution prayer we the priest in the name of jesus speak the same words of institution so now there you must understand the priest is christ and the word he speak is the word of christ and jesus said do this in memory of me there is no word in english better than memory but the actual meaning of that is in a greek anamnesis anamnesis means whenever you do this i will become present there whenever you do this i will be there that is anamnesis so do this in memory means when you say the same prayer exactly i will come i will come there i will become so when the priest is saying with a great devotion he took the bread and said this is my body now what will happen liturgy what is liturgy it is manifest christ is manifest christ makes present christ dispenses so in this anamnesis in this institution prayer that paschal mystery that the passion death and resurrection really happened as if it happened 2000 years back the same thing really happened here in the main altar that is the so we are becoming a participant we are also part in this sacrifice because it is christ offered in his body the church we are all in his body so we are also is in that body and then after many prayers christ is lifted up that is the ascension he ascended to heaven and after the ascension so in ascension what happens all of us are taken in his body to heaven as it is written in 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 ephesians chapter 26 yeah i got it ephesians 26 says Ephesians two six very important. Raise us up with him, and seated us with him in heaven, in Christ Jesus. So he resurrected, he ascended. When he ascended, he took all of us in his body to the right hand of the Father. After that, we again say an Our Father prayer. Now this our father prayer is prayed from heaven after the paschal mysteries are over the first our father prayer prayed after the incarnation now the second our father prayer is prayed after the paschal mystery is over and christ fulfilled his mission and reached back to the father now he is telling the thy kingdom come he is about the second coming 
in here here on words or even in the even in the resurrection prayer we are thinking about the second coming so the first coming of the incarnation was a preparation for his second coming so in the resurrection hymn we say tan ki deta hai punar jeevan punar jeevan dene wala prabhu hai abhi yahan par aaya hai and in all the prayers we reflect about the second coming and then we are preparing ourselves to receive the holy eucharist the body and bread of christ that is the risen body and blood of christ we cannot eat his mortal body what we are receiving is his risen body and that risen body is the risen christ who is going to come in the second coming so during the holy eucharist receival receiving we are praying when he prays uh, we pray uh, we pray i said it yesterday we pray oh lord so we may na so we before we yeah yeah i got it hey prabhu apne sevakon ko paap aur avraat shama kar that chanting wo prarthana ka last mein kaha hai hey prabhu ye rahasya hamare shareeron ke punarudhan ka tada aatmaon ki mukti ka kharan bane this receival of the body and blood of christ finally he was the experience of the resurrection and we received the holy eucharist so how many mysteries we have happened the incarnation baptism of jesus public proclamation of jesus passion and death of jesus and resurrection of jesus ascension of jesus pentecost so pentecost is the experience of holy spirit so we have we have again epiclesis the coming of the holy spirit and finally the second coming of christ so today when you celebrate the divine liturgy the holy kurbana let us feel these seven or eight mysteries are reenacted and when you fit ourselves into that we are also transformed like the risen body that is the true formation you can see after the resurrection apostles went away but finally when jesus gave them the bread that is his body the risen body then they never left him then their life changed so in the formation the change happens through the holy spirit and through the sacrament particularly through the eucharist and the eucharist itself is a mission it is missa missa means it is the it is the mission so at the end we say go become a eucharist give your life for the world become a eucharist that is the mission mission begins the evangelization begins okay thank you and god bless you so now we go for tea and have, or i don't know whether there is tea but after the break we have the eucharistic celebration at 11 o'clock short break thank you